hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be designing this poster inside affinity photo i'll be showing you how to create this text effect around your poster um so yeah it'll be quite interesting before we get started a big shout out to Jay Patch for following me on Behance. If you are on Behance, do consider following me. I'll be posting more of these contents. <laughs> so yeah, now that's out of the way, we can continue with this tutorial. I'll be using these two images. I got this one from DeviantArt and the other one from this cleanpng.com link. I'll put the links in the description if you want to follow along. Download these and just open up Affinity Photo, create a new document. I'm gonna set the type to web and uh, page width 1280 page height to 720 and click on ok obviously you can use any dimensions that you want i'm going to drag in this image inside of any photo and with the move tool we can just move it in the center hold the control key on the keyboard and just scale it down and just place it wherever you want to place it so i'm going to place it somewhere over here and with the eraser tool hit the e key on the keyboard to select the eraser tool or you can just click on this icon over here and um, you can decrease the width over here or if it's too big or if it's too small you can just change the width over here with the slider or you can also hit the left square bracket or the right square bracket key on the keyboard to do that i'm going to erase this watermark over here right so now that's out of the way we can make some adjustments so first thing that we'll do is we'll add a adjustment to this so click on this icon that says adjustments click on that and from this list we will select black and white All right so after you do that the image will look something like this okay so now we can erase the area that you don't want in black and white you can do this with the eraser tool uh, to you know reveal only the portion that you want so for example we can reveal the jersey the red color and the jersey but what i like to do is i use the brush tool to do this so i'm gonna hit ctrl z to undo it and with the brush tool hit the b key on the keyboard to select it just decrease the size of the brush and you add a layer mask to this mask layer click on that to edit and now we can just use the brush tool to paint in to this so i'm going to set the flow to 100 and you can just you know paint it in so the brush tool if you go too far like if you get at this arm as well if you don't want this you can hit the x key on the keyboard to switch to the white color and now you can remove that color from your image you cannot do this in eraser tool once you use the eraser tool and once you do your adjustments there's no way of going back you have to undo it and repeat the process from the scratch so with the brush tool it's much more easier so make sure your color is set to black and then you can just paint into the area and just color it in All right so once you are done with this now we'll add our text so select the text tool hit the t key on the keyboard to select it or you can click on this icon over here and now you can click on the white area and type in your text so i'm going to type in br hit enter un hit enter and then type in o and control a to select your text and hold the control key to scale it up and then you can just change the font i'm going to use a font called montserrat it's a free font and then font style i'm going to set this to black italics and you can just put this on top of the player and one more thing that i would like to do is with the text tool to select this o letter and then click on this icon line center so it will line it in the center All right so let's quickly add in a background um, let's add a pixel layer and i'm going to call this bg for background move it at the bottom and uh, with the gradient tool i'm going to fill it in with a black color Okay, something like that and then you can select your text and change its color to white All right so let's duplicate this text layer select the text layer hit ctrl j on the keyboard to duplicate it or you can right click and click on duplicate i'm going to rename this to stroke and i'm going to control click on this layer so hold the control key on the keyboard and click on this a icon to 
select it so you can see that you'll get the marching ants around your text go to select grow and shrink and i'm going to grow this by five pixels and click on apply then make sure your stroke layer is still selected and go to edit fill and you can fill it in with your primary color if it's set to white um, or secondary color if it's set to white you know you just make sure it's set to the same color that you're using so click on apply and then now we have to control click on this text layer hold the control key and click on this the second text layer again go to select grow shrink and we're going to shrink this down by one pixel and click on apply and once you do that then you just have to click on the stroke layer just click it don't have to control and click it just simple click on it and then hit the delete key on the keyboard and that's it then you just have to hit control D on the keyboard to deselect everything and then just select the main original text layer and put it under your player image and that's it that's how easy to, it is to create this text effect inside affinity photo you can do this easily in photoshop or other software as well then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in the premier league logo inside affinity photo and then we can use the eraser tool and get rid of the text that we don't want so i'm going to erase this like that and then i'm going to put it in the center and i can just bring it down like that uh, but as you can see when I do that you will notice this uh, Blue color over here at the edges and that's because of our adjustment layer So in order to fix this what we'll do is we'll just undo this and we'll hide the logo layer and the background layer as well So now we just have the text and our player here So we're going to select all these layers that are still visible select it select all of these layers the shift Control alt and E and this will combine it into one single layer and now you can turn off these layers we don't want them you can just group them and turn it off like that and just have to move this pixel layer at the top you can also rename this to maybe design and once you do that then you can enable your logo and the background as well now with the back with the logo selected you can go to effects open up the layer effects and choose color overlay and i'm going to change the color and with the hss slider selected i'm going to increase the lightness a bit so that i can see the logo and click on close so you can increase the size if you want to and just looks nice right now the final touch let's create a new layer the empty layer with the brush tool selected you can just increase its size using the square brackets and you can just decrease the flow as well hardness to zero opacity to 100 and you can just you know add some fade at the bottom and, and at the top maybe it just gives it a nice touch right so that's it that's how you can create a poster inside affinity photo uh, if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.